Hello, this is Paul from First Attack. In this video, let's prove the theorem of uh, 3.5.1, the second part. We call Lagrange's identity. And the theorem, this theorem gives us the relationship involved, uh, the relationship between cross product and the dot product, the two products that we learned so far. Uh, cross product is defined in three space. Okay, so every vector is in three space. Um, let's look at the Lagrange's identity. It just uh, tell us what, tell us what the, uh, what the norm or what the length of the cross product that we define. See? And the norm, the square of the norm, it can be the norm, uh, the norm of u, the norm of v, and the times together, and then is the dot product. Okay? So we see, Find a relationship between the cross product and the dot product. So how do you prove? Okay, so uh, it's not exactly proof. We just verify. Okay, so we can work uh, from the right side to the left side, right? Because the right is a little complicated. We just verify. Or you say proof. Uh, work from the right to the left. So, UV, uh, let's set up, okay. So again, we need to set up, uh, like a U, uh, is U1, U2, oops, U3. And then V, uh, is V1, V2, V3. Okay, so, and then uh, I can work on the right side. So what is this? The norm of u squared times the norm of v squared minus uh, the dot product squared. Okay, so we do calculation now. Should it be a lot of calculation? Be patient. So the first norm we have a definition is uh, the sum of the squares or the component, right, which is u1 squared, u2 squared, u3 squared. Okay, so this is the square of the norm of u, the same for v, which is v1 squared, v2 squared, v3 squared, and then minus the dot product, <coughs> the sum of product. So we have u1, v1, u2, v2, u3, v3, and then square. Uh, distribute it now. Okay. Distribute. A lot of terms, really. Uh, 3, 3. So we should have 9 terms. Uh, here we should have 6 terms. A lot. Mm, it's okay. So let's just write it down. Um, so u1, uh, let's combine a little bit. Okay, I'll simplify one step. Like uh, u1 squared times v1 squared, I write it into u1 times v1 parentheses raised to the second power, right? Okay, so I can do a little simplification. So did the first, and then the second, uh, which is a u1 v2 squared, the third u1 v3 squared, see? And then, look at the second, uh, which is a u2, a distributed u2. What did I just distributed is a u1, right? And then I will look at the u2. What is u2? So is a u2 v1 squared u2 v2 squared u2 v3 squared and uh, another three terms which is a uh, u3 okay so u3 v1 squared u3 v2 squared u3 v3 squared Okay, so all these nine terms, and then another six terms. Yeah, six terms. 
uh, this perfect square, right? Sigma term is issued minus. Now, I look at the square term first, which is a u1 v1 square. Okay, remember this is minus, so all the terms should be all negative. Okay. Therefore, minus the second u2 v2 squared and then minus oops u3 v3 squared and these are three terms and there's a cross term a lot so another another three terms which is a minus two uh, the first are two so the first are two so u1 v1 u2 v2 the first right then minus two times the first and the third, which is a u1, v1, u3, v3, and then minus two times. The second and the third, u2, v2, u3, v3. So that's all the term. Now <clears throat> we need to use by part. Then we can cancel something. So look at it. Uh, look at this term. See u1, v1 negative this is a positive so I can cancel right mm, look at this term u2 v2 well, okay so u2 v2 here right so we can cancel and uh, the last this term <clears throat> u3 v3 okay so here u3 v3 right okay so we cancel see so we get a, a few terms now uh, we still have a lot of terms, but we can use the perfect square to combine like a term. So let's see which term. Uh, if we uh, look at this term, see this term, uh, u1, v1, u1, do we have u1? V1, no, we don't have a U1, V1, but we do have a U1, V2, right? U1, V2, and then U2, V1, okay, so good. So you think about this term, and this term, okay, these three terms put it together, definitely is a perfect square, which is a U1, V2 minus a U2, V1, and then raised to the second power. That makes sense. And then let me just a document. So we put here the first. So which is a u1 v2 minus a u2 v1 parenthesis square. Okay. See, and this is the the first. Okay. So like this, we already find. And then let me highlight it. Now we look at this term. So u1 v3, okay. So it should be this time u1 v3, and then u3 and v1. Okay, so these are three terms. I should get another, which is this perfect square. So u1 v3 minus u3 v1 square. Okay, so this is the one we get. And the last, <clears throat> uh, let's look at the last. Uh, I simply say is this double line. This got u2 v2 u3 v3. So what we left u2 v3. So you can look at this term and uh, this term. Okay, so these three terms we can merge into a perfect square. What is u2 v3 minus u3 v2 v square and you see almost and then what do we have we can just make a, a determinant so the first is a determinant can you see the first is just a determinant of u1 v2 so i can put it is u1 uh, here v2 here 
and then U2 here and then P1 here. Is the same? Yeah, definitely. Because the definition of a two by two determinant. And then the second, for the second, U1, U3. Okay, so we can do this. The second, which is U1, uh, V3, and U3, and V1. Right? Okay, so the last, the same. So U2. Let me put U2 here and the V3 here. So U3 here and the V3, uh, V2. I'll put it there. Okay, so is this, we are very familiar with the right. Um, if I change a little bit, this is just uh, the norm, the square of a norm of a vector. Okay, so each one is the component. So, but I need to change a little bit. Uh, let me switch the order. I oh, we don't need to switch the order. So these are, I put this is the first component. I put this as the first component. Can you see? This should be equals the norm of uh, which vector. I put it here. It's U2. I mean, I put it. This is the first component, okay? So U2, U3, V2, V3, okay? And then we just put the second, uh, so I'll put this the second. Uh, the second, um, if I link these two to the cross product, we have a negative, so it's better I put the negative here, and then I put a parenthesis. They are the same, right? Okay, so they are the same, therefore the second term goes to negative. U1, U3, V1, V3 negative. Okay, and then the third term, of course, this is the third component. Uh, I put it here, which is a U1, U2, V1, V2. Uh, this is a vector, the norm squared. Okay, what this vector? So we are familiar. This vector is the cross product. This is the cross product of U and V. So this is the Lagrange. So you look at it. So now we work from the right side and then we get to the left side. So we verify the Lagrange's identity, okay, which is true. Yeah. That's all. Thank you.